Michael Green. Joy Clayton. Yay. So, you've seen our uh, app before. I'll tell you that from the last time you saw the code, we probably have added at least 400 lines of code to it. Oh my. However, there is no discernible difference uh, when you look at the app itself. Okay. So, so, Except it's heavier now. Yes, this is basically the, the app you all remember. The cuteness. Uh, I spent all this time... I spent all this time trying to get the start button here to, to do something. We can't see the start button. Can you yeah. imagine, like should get oh. one, should get one click? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Trying yeah. to get this here to uh, okay. actually uh, start the shuffle and display the cards. Okay. But uh, did you make it work? No. I saw it spinning. Yeah, when you click it, we know something happens. Uh, we don't get any errors on the console. It's just we we cannot pinpoint why it just says, nah, I don't feel like it. <laughs> the, the, the thing that happens isn't what you want. Okay. Michael, it's called live lock, which is different than deadlock. Because ah. cool. you're, you're jammed, but you're not jammed in a way that has killed the computer. It's just cycling forever. <laughs> okay? So, uh, we basically... I've, we threw every piece of code we had that was spread apart into one big uh, one big uh, file, and we could we completely stuck. For no, you're facing for the problem that every software developer that's ever tried to integrate a bunch of piles of code has ever faced. <laughs> How to find the start button? Yeah, cause everybody in our group had to leave, so anything that they did make. Who had no explanations. Uh, okay, no commenting, huh? No, no, no comments. Uh, no comments. No documentation. It wasn't uh. self documenting where the names for things were awesome. Oh. Congratulations, you just got hired by a big software company and inherited a code base that you have no idea how it works. Maybe they yeah. can design our web interface. Well, sure. I, can least, I can at least assure you that everything will be where you where we want it to be. Awesome. <laughs> Which okay. took six hours. Yes, it did. Do you, so do you have do you have anything else to demo, or did that did that sort of torpedo you? I mean, everything, I know you got all the pieces. It was sniper torpedo. Yeah, okay, but... in a ghillie suit submarine. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, what was the coolest thing you learned? CSS. Uh, CSS. Why? It. It took what I was going to try and do. I was going to do this big nested div uh, hierarchical relationship thing that I had created. Uh, and it was going to be ridiculously impossible to even think about making look uh, like I had there. And it took only six hours instead of... Yeah, it like would have taken longer just to... It took me two hours just to come up with the relationships, actually, for where all of these things would be nested. Yeah. But... Uh, CSS, it just allows you to, in so few words, so few lines, uh, change a whole lot about how everything gets displayed. I thought that that was extremely powerful. That's awesome. CSS is very good. I don't know near as much CSS as I would like you. <laughs> so what was, the, what was the biggest obstacle? And did you overcome it or not? The biggest? The obstacle is... Plugging the picture in the right space. <laughs> I thought was, you were going to say finding a scanner. <laughs> you finally uh, got that working, it looks like. Scanner is not that difficult. Mr. Murphy can help. That's true. So well, the, the problem yeah. was getting getting all the artwork in the right place, so so the layout and positioning of it? No, it's well, because when you scan it, the size we need to track and the crop it and to the um, right size. And fitting the tiny little color box. Yeah. <laughs> We've got 21 uh, different... Um, boxes. Uh, we got 21 different boxes here, all for holding some graphics. And yeah. if the pixelation was off by like two or three, the whole thing just wouldn't render at all. So we kept oh having to truncate and, sh and shrink and keep... <laughs> every single picture that she drew, we had to like just keep... Shoving in the smaller and smaller box until it would show up. So if, if so, it just relied on the native size of the image. Is there any way in CSS to to force that to say 
I have this box is 500 pixels wide, but if you give it a, an image that's 550, can you just say width equals 500? Well, these are all canvases. Okay, so you can't do that. I mean, that's an honest question. I have no idea. So canvas is coming up as a recurrent issue. Is canvas is difficult to deal with. Yeah. Is that it's good for drawing on, and it's not so good for doing anything else on it at all. Yeah. Okay. It, it, I saw that the big hurdle was the fact that we chose to use canvases for everything. Oh, okay. my gosh. Yeah, everything on is a canvas. Yeah, they were, they looked who, nice. Who told everyone to use canvas? No. Brad? Was that you? No. I don't know, it just sounded so it awesome. For well, no, no, I, I probably would have, I would have done the same thing because it's kind of, you know, like one of the sexy cool things of, oh, I should have five in canvas, that's what I would do. Yeah, exactly. What, what were you going to say? Well, I was trying to work on this drag and drop thing of canvas. Um, Brad helped me a lot with it. It was, you know, somewhat successful. It was a pain in the butt, actually, but, um, you know, I learned something a lot from it. Do, but, you know, Canvas is pretty good. Do you need Canvas to do drag and drop, or is it just one way to implement drag and drop? Um, right now, it's like one way. Will you show us in your demo? Um, I was already with them, but I was in the bowling team. She's bowling. Oh, okay. Yeah, Sorry. But I can show it later on. Yeah, that'd be oh. cool. Okay, so what, what's next for your app? Okay, first of all, I'm going to add a storyline. Awesome. So make it interesting. Ooh. Second of all, I'm going to add the boss. A boss fight? Yes. Okay. Have to be. There must be a boss. Is it, is it going to be a boss? <laughs> no, that's a spoiler. You don't have to tell us. <laughs> spoiler. Awesome, I love it. And yeah. then I need to color it. Definitely. Ooh. And then I, I'm going to improve my the drawing on computer skill, like uh, to get to knowing more like that cat Photoshop is... or something. Yeah. Because it's, this is rough and I'm not satisfied. I love that cat. Oh, thank you, but <laughs> I still need to color it. Yeah, I would say one thing we did get was a really nice looking... Uh, Picture, we had interface there. Uh, building it and yeah. actually seeing it be what it was supposed to look like was awesome. Okay. Yeah. And what's it? What's it called, Choi? Again, the program? Uh, Math cat goes goes to school. Yeah. Math cat goes to school. I love that. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. What are you looking for? I can't wait to, to the find out the story. Uh, the boss. You're supposed. To, I think that we are going to add the level also. Ooh. Okay. So that the first. Uh, level is just teaching the user how to use the uh, how to play with all the yes. operators. It's the tutorial level. Yeah. Yes. And then you get enough cards or what you unlock cards, you have special cards. <laughs> so you are prepared for fighting with the boss. If you lose you will get another dead cat. Where is the dead cat? <laughs> yeah, we dead have cat. Oh. Oh. That was going to be the game over screen. <laughs> <laughs> well, dead but not unhappy, I'd say. And you know, they've got nine lives. Moved off to a new, another, another place. Does the cat yes. have nine lives in the game? No. Oh. No fun. No fun. So no extra. No one else. Go back and play again. Then you get nine lives. <laughs> <laughs> cat food. What is, also, the, uh, what is the cat food image? We were uh, this is, uh, number eight. We were oh, going okay. to set ourselves up to make the scoring uh, be a composite of all the num all the numbers as uh -huh. pictures themselves. And we had a lot of uh, so a bunch of eights. This was a this was an eight actually that she wow why did yeah, I use that? Yeah, it's the first image. It just said nope, I don't want to scroll anymore. <laughs> so we had her. Well, she oh, was willing to actually make this eight. This was an awesome eight. I like this <laughs> eight. It's a devil cat food. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Oh. I love it. Thank you. So. <laughs> All right. So, are you guys going to keep working on this? Do you yes. Know? Yes. It, uh, yes. This one, and I, I'm just no way I can not finish it. it it's going to arc me forever if it doesn't get yeah. done. Yeah. It's just right. uh, no, not many manpower. Well, I'll, I'll keep after you when you get your finished version. I mean, I'll take what you have, but when you get your finished version, we'll we'll put it up and, and get it out for the world to see. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Yay! Yay!